Hey, Evan from Midway Nissan here. This time doing a quick walk around of a 2023 Nissan Leaf SV Plus. Starting from the front of the 2023 Nissan Leaf, you'll notice new for the 23 model year, it does have an illuminated emblem in the front end and also a redesigned front and rear fascia on the vehicle. You'll notice it does of course come as standard as always with the LED headlights, daytime running lights, as well as the fog lights you'll see down below. The vehicle does of course have in the very front your charging ports, which I'll go over momentarily. New for 2023 as well on these SV and SL models, you do have this redesigned style of wheel. It almost looks like a grill surface on the wheel here. I think it looks pretty sharp. You'll notice a lot of our vehicles do come with black wheels now. And even in this mid-level, you have a 360 surround view camera. The vehicle does, of course, come standard with front and rear heated seats. And this being the plus range variant of the vehicle, I'll go over the specs in just a moment. It is the extended 362 kilometer range vehicle. Like many of our other vehicles, it does come with Nissan Safety Shield 360, including the front sonar sensors, rear sonar sensors. The vehicle does, of course, have automatic emergency braking, front and rear, 360 camera, Pro Pilot Assist 2.0. A couple interesting things I'll show you in the trunk. These vehicles do come with a charging pack from the factory. This will work on a normal household outlet, so in North America here about 120 volts, or you can use a 220 or 240 volt dryer outlet. A full charge on a standard range leaf, this of course being the plus would be a little bit longer, at 11 and a half hours for a full charge from dead. In a standard range leaf, it would be eight hours on that charge. You also have the ability to use Chatamo and CCS. Both ports do come standard in the vehicles. And you'll notice as well for this 23 model year, you do have the rear diffuser style on the rear bumper down below, along with the reflectors. Vehicle blood does, like I mentioned, in this trim level have cloth seats. For 2023, all the Nissan Leaf interior colors are black. In this CSV package, you do have cloth with blue stitching, and in the SL trim package, which would be the fully loaded, you do have the same blue stitching on a leatherette interior. The vehicles don't use any real leather or any real animal products in the vehicles as they are fully electric and want to represent a more green image. You'll notice the brochure for these vehicles as well only is the digital copy. There's no paper copies. You do see you have the heated rear seat switches as standard there, and then two USB ports, both of which are type A. This vehicle does have 60-40 split fold rear seats, but no folding armrest or cup holders for the rear passengers. However, they do have the bottle holders built into the doors. Coming around front, like many of our other vehicles, it does, of course, have your proximity sensing key with buttons to lock and unlock built into the door. This vehicle does have blind spot monitoring, of course, with the blind spot monitors built into the mirrors themselves. Power windows, door locks, of course, heated seat and heated steering wheel as standard up front. Vehicles do have automatic headlights in this SV trim level, along with like I mentioned, Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist, and then you'll notice the instrument cluster is very similar to the kicks while not being the same, where the full left side of the gauge cluster is a configurable screen. Closing the door now. You do, of course, have all your different adjustments here for the gauge cluster. Um, you can go through and adjust all your safety systems within here. You can see your range. Because this vehicle's only been driven short distances in the, in the showroom with just 26 kilometers on the odometer, it is projecting a 403 kilometer range, but depending on your driving, Nissan estimates about 362 kilometers of range. Vehicle does of course come equipped with a navigation system, and as part of that, you can add EV chargers to your route and then base your destination based on where there are chargers. This vehicle does have 360 surround view monitor with the front camera showing right now as we are in park. And this vehicle does have Nissan's e-pedal functionality. E-pedal is what allows you to do your one-pedal driving, which will put the vehicle on maximum regenerative braking, such that in the case you let your foot off the brake or even, or sorry, off the gas pedal or even have partial input, it will automatically start regenerating. That way you actually very seldom need to touch the brake pedal. Really neat system. I suggest you try it out if you get the opportunity. These vehicles do come with electronic heaters, so they would heat up instantly in the winter time. Very nice. And then next to your heated seat buttons, you do have your USB type C and type A port next to the start button and then 12 volt bar, uh, button over to the right side. This vehicle with incentives still prices out as being one of the least expensive electric vehicles you can buy. And it's a great option now for the 23 model year with the recent updates they've done. This vehicle, like I mentioned, does come with a charger built in, which very few electric vehicles, if any, do still. 
electronic parking brake right here lift it up to engage small center console here very similar to the nissan kicks in the interior so you notice you still have that same little small center console and then adjustable left side of the gauges being a screen pro pilot assist of course on the steering wheel with the blue button there and then you do have the updated nissan emblems all the way around the vehicle auto dimming rear view mirror does come standard in this sv trim level which is really nice hazard switch over there these vehicles do pose a great value, like I mentioned, and in the case you wanted to see them, they are relatively easy to get a hold of. We do have about three in stock right now. Under the hood of the Nissan Leaf, you'll see that it does have the motor right in the center. You do, of course, have your 12-volt battery like you would have in a normal vehicle, running all things like a heater as well as the uh, AC and radio in the vehicle. This vehicle, of course, does have the bright orange wiring uh, indicating the high voltage componentry. And in this plus variant does have a 60 kilowatt hour battery, 160 kilowatt motor. And that motor is 214 horsepower, 250 pound feet of torque. And the battery in conjunction with the motor gives you a 362 kilometer range. Standard variant is less in all of these categories. So lower range, 240, smaller battery, 40 kilowatt hours, and then 110 kilowatt motor with 147 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. You'll notice as well on the Leaf, there is a panel in front of the hood. This is where you have your charging doors on the vehicle. You can open it from the key fob here or on the interior, there's a button. Vehicle does have two charging ports, the Chatamo as well as your CCS. Your CCS is gonna be what they call trickle charging. This will be your level one and level two. What you normally use in the house or if your vehicle, if you're ever using the uh, charger built in in the trunk, this would use this port on the right side. On the left, this is your Chatamo, which is likely going to be for your three, uh, your level three charging. This is going to be your higher speed charging that gives you 80% battery in a much shorter period of time. As always, if you have any questions about the vehicle, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section down below. The Nissan Leafs brochure is going to be linked in the description of the video. And until the next one, take care.